In this video, I will explain how the academic year or academic calendar is structured at Finnish universities and universities of applied sciences. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. If this is the first time we are meeting, my name is Oliver and I'm a master's student in economics at Aalto University in Finland. And on this channel we talk about education and early career development, specifically here in Finland. So if you are new here, do consider subscribing. So, how is the academic year in Finnish institutions of higher education structured? In Finland, the academic year is divided into two different terms. The autumn term and the spring term. The autumn term kicks off a new academic year and it starts either around mid-August or in the beginning of September. So what determines whether you start school in August or in September? So as a rule of thumb, Universities of Applied Sciences start their academic year in August and universities a couple of weeks later in early September. So the exact week might vary just a bit between each school and degree program, but this is still roughly how it works. Also, as a new student, you usually start your first academic year with an orientation week, which is held one week before the official start of the autumn semester. As an exception, if you start your studies in Finland in January, the orientation week is naturally held a week before the start of the spring semester. Anyhow, the autumn term lasts until around Christmas at both universities and universities of applied sciences. Next up, we have the spring term, which starts on the second week of the year and lasts until the first week of June, after which universities in Finland start their summer holidays. I'll talk a bit more about holidays in just a second. So again, first we have the autumn term and then we have the spring term. Both of these terms are divided into periods, each of which is six weeks long. The autumn term lasts for two periods and the spring term for three periods. After each period, we have an evaluation or examination week, after which we continue to the next period. So during evaluation week, we usually have no lectures or deliverables, rather those weeks are fully devoted for exams. Super quickly, just before we move on, I would like to remind you that I recently set up a Discord server where I not only answer your questions about studying and working in Finland, but where I also post updates about my upcoming videos and live streams. So the idea of the server is to build a community of people interested in studying and building their careers in Finland. So if you are interested, there is a link to join the server in the description box below. All right, so next up, let's talk about holidays. So in Finland, university students have two main holidays per year. So first, after the autumn period, we have the Christmas holidays. This starts roughly one week before Christmas and it lasts until the end of the first week of the next year. So the second holiday is pretty obvious and it is the summer holidays, which start after the fifth and the last teaching period. So the summer holidays usually start around the first week of June and they end when the next academic year starts either around mid-August or early September. As a great segue to the next topic, let's talk quickly about summer school in Finland. So while it is possible for university students to either apply to work or simply to take a break during the summer holidays, it is also possible to take summer school. So during summer, it is possible to take courses either at your own university or any of the other public universities in Finland that you can then count towards your degree. However, the tricky thing is that summer courses already start in mid-April while the fifth and the last period of the year is still ongoing. Actually, some courses might start just a week or two before the last evaluation week of the spring, and this makes it a bit inconvenient for some people to take summer courses because they have to choose between taking a summer course or focusing on passing the last exams of the year. Anyhow, courses taught during the summer can run anywhere from one month to the entire length of the summer. However, the last examinations for these courses are held at latest in August before the next academic year begins. Alright, that is it. If you found this video helpful, do give it a thumbs up. 
and maybe share it with a friend who might also be interested in the topic. If you didn't like what I had to say, the thumbs down button works as well. Also, if you have anything to ask about this or any other topic related to studying or working in Finland, do write them down in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.